All right, here it is. Finally, my three stage compression formula to avoid living in a van down by the river. Let's go. All right, first of all, my girlfriend's getting really pissed that I keep yelling in the house, right? She's like, yo, what are you doing in that room? Just tell her, baby, stay out of the room, all right? Daddy's making work happen. I hope she doesn't see this. I'll be in so much trouble. All right. I'm going to show you some, uh, I'm going to show you a little beat I'm cooking up, right? Just because I cook, dude. I make beats, bro. Um, I'm going to show you this beat, and then I'm going to show you my three stages of compression to make your beats, your drums slap. All right, here it comes. Right, there you go some sexy little sultry but the drums are just not hitting right so my first stage of compression is going to be directly on the actual drums so the kick and snare being probably the most important for the compression so on the kick here i just got a little eq a little pro q i'm boosting a little low stuff and then i got a uh, taking out a little of that 200 probably won't take out that much as I'm gonna compress. All right, and then I'm gonna throw a compressor on here. Doesn't matter what compressor you have, you could use this compressor built into Logic Pro or Pro Tools built into Pro Tools. Doesn't matter. You need something that slaps though. So something a little fast. Uh, FET is gonna be great. Uh, Opto will work fine. VCA is probably my go-to, I'd say, for, um, for you know, fast attack, fast release. So classic VCA here, it's kind of like a DBX studio VCA is like a focus right here. So I'm gonna go into a vintage VCA, which is gonna be like my SSL, all right? Uh, ratio, probably like two and a half, three to one, doesn't matter, I'm just gonna check it out for now. Uh, but I want it to slap, I want the, uh, the transient to come through. So I'm gonna make sure my attack is like, you know, closer to 40, 50, 60 milliseconds. Something to let that initial punch through of the kick, all right? And then the release, I just leave it on auto here, but you can make it pretty fast, right? This is a fast kick. Um, and then, yeah, the knee, you can adjust that as you go hard or soft. And you can see the graph here. You can see what that does to the knee. This is softer, that's harder, right? So let's go like kind of in the middle, I think is a good starting point. And uh, let's compress a little bit, right? So ratio is good. Threshold we'll start to mess with in the makeup. Uh, turn the auto gain off. I don't really like auto gain on my compression, but, you know, that's up to you. I like using my ears. I'm an engineer. All right. Uh, first thing, this is my compression. My first step of compression is going to be on the kick drum. All right, let's hear this. Okay, awesome. So now I'll probably do that on the snare as well, right? So on the snare claps, I'm just gonna go bring these down to where the kick is because I want that shit to slap, you know? That's what I'm looking for. I want some slap action, slap daddy. I'm trying to get some slap daddy going, baby. All right, so here, just copy it over, man. It's super simple, right? Compression, bam, bam, bam. It's all the same kind of stuff, right? It's transient stuff. So I'm letting the transient through, keep the attack fast enough, but slow enough for the transient to come through. Hopefully you understand that. I'm not gonna explain all that shit. All right, let's hear this. All right, drum's starting to smack. All right, so that's my first stage of compression directly on the drum. You can do this on other drums as well. You can throw it on the hi-hats, you can throw it on everything, right? Like compress, start to get everything under control, start to let the uh, the initial attack get some, uh, get some transient smacking, right? That's gonna be your first stage of compression, at least my first stage of compression. 
it's up to you what you do next. Um, but here I'm going to do my second stage of compression, which is going to be parallel compression, all right? So kick and snare, kick and clap, kick and whatever. Anything that's going to be the fundamental of the track, right? The fundamental rhythm of the track. If you're in rock, you're talking about the whole drum kit, right? And then just balancing the room mics and, and the overheads and everything. All right, so I'm going to go to X uh, to go to my mixer. I'm now going to make a send and I'm going to bust to, oh, look, I already have a drum parallel compression bus. All right, I'm going to send 100% of that to uh, the bus, okay? So it looks like my kick was already going there. So I'll fix that real quick. So 100% going to bus 17, uh, bus 17, API 2500. That is my parallel compression, okay? So I'm sending all of this, a duplicate signal directly to a compressor to smack it with compression. I highly recommend the UAD version of the, UA, uh, the API 2500, but if you only got the Waves version, then you a sucker. You a sucker. All right, I'm going to go uh, open up the UAD version just because, you know, uh, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> Got the rich shit. All right, so bring this up. Bam. All right, and then just go open up a preset that's like smack my shit. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to overthink this stuff. Drum crush. What would you know? All right, 100% on the mix. Let the attack through again. Um, you can do this. There's two schools of thought here. You can kill the attack and you're basically just bringing up the low level information or you can let the smack through. I like leaving the smack through. So I go to 10 or even 30. All right, I'm going to listen. I'm going to use my ears. Oh my God. Can you believe you're going to use your ears to mix? Wow. <laughs> old school thinking, huh? All right. I like the new type. I like the, the need to be medium. I like the detector to be medium. All right, I like my release to be as quick as possible, and I'm just gonna play with this game. This is manual gain, and I don't want any bypass here, so filter, I'm gonna turn the filter off, and the left-right link, 100%, and here we go. All right, so obviously the balances are crazy, right, right now, but don't worry about that. We're not talking about balances right now. We're talking about smacking your drums in three stages of compression. So hopefully you follow me along right now, okay? It's you put the compressor on the goddamn instrument, the kick, the snare, whatever you're going to do with the drums, all right? Then you're going to put the compressor on a parallel, okay? Now the, the third place we're going to put this is we're going to put it on a fucking drum bus, man. <laughs> all right? Here we go, drum bus, let's, let's slap it up. I'm gonna grab all the drums and the bass because I'm crazy like that. I'm gonna grab everything here, even the hi-hats, because I don't even give a shit anymore. I don't even care. Obviously, dude, like look at my hair, dude. It's been sitting in Corona, Corona Caves. <laughs> Coronacaves.com, someone should make that business. All right, so I'm gonna send all of these to a bus. This is going to be a drum bus. This is going to be bus one. We're gonna label this because we're not idiots. Drum, bus, we're gonna get this smack in. All right, you could use different styles of compression. I always like doing that, right? Uh, don't just use one style all the way through. Um, this time I'm gonna use like a Neve compressor. I like the 33609 because I'm a badass. And like I said, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> you could use a distressor, you could use a fatso. I don't care what you use. I'm not your dad, all right? So one thing, one point I want to make, I'm not your dad. Get that test done, all right? Here we go. Neve. 33. 6. Oh, 9. We're going to go with the C version. Okay. All right, here we go. Drum bus. Bam. All right, now, again, go to a preset. Don't be a dickhead. Gosh, people are such dickheads nowadays, man. I'm so tired of it. All right, drum parallel punchy. Nah, let's just go to stereo bus, right? Bam. You got a stereo bus. Now here you got a threshold. You got recovery, which is going to be your release. Uh, you got gain. You got ratio, right? I'm going to go to like two to one. I don't need a three to one. It just depends. Actually, you know what? Let's just make this easy. Let's let's do this. Uh, do some stupid shit and just give you the SSLG series so you can so you can understand this stuff. Uh, just walk you right through it, okay? So I'm gonna go and uh, plug in Alliance. I'm gonna go to the Townsend. This bus compressor is the the uh, the SSL bus. All right, 
And uh, we're gonna go here, gonna go fast release or auto, doesn't matter, two to one or four to one is fine for me. And then everything else looking good. And let's get it smacking. And the great thing about this has a little mix knob as well, okay? Okay, that, those are my three stages of compression. Now you just mix that in. It's all good, okay? You like balance your shit again. All good. Oh, your drums are so loud, Brad. That sounds stupid. You're an idiot. Yeah, I'm a total idiot. I've never done this before. All right, I'm just making this shit up as I go. Now, if you want to go an extra step with this three-stage compression formula, which is what I'm going to call it now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to call it. You guys let me know in the comments. Like, what should I call this? All right? something with threes uh if you want to go a little further shape it afterwards with a little bit of eq and then throw a limiter on that on that bish and let that shit slap right you could even um give us some harmonic distortion whatever blend some shit in give yourself those uh that vibe you know like let let things slap like you need you need transients transients are life that's what a record like has life you know you need those transients all right so right here i'm just going to go into a fab filter and i'm just going to because again i'm rich bitch that's why i got a fab filter pro q3 you ain't got that shit I mean, you probably cracked that shit because you ain't got no money you live with your mom it's all good i ain't hating i love my mom all right, so let's go here. I'm going to go just like sweep out all the bullshit. And then, uh, yeah, I like zero latency, but natural phase is better for me. I'm going to mute this and I'm just going to shape it a little bit, right? Getting out of the vocal range, giving me a little bit more, uh, you know, sizzle up top, something to spank a little bit. Um, and then what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to throw a limiter on here. You see it's peaking over five, like big deal, dude. I don't give a shit. It's 24. If you can't use your ears, get out of this. Don't even be in mixing. Don't be in music. You're an idiot. You're like, dude, but I see it's saying five and it's turning orange on the, th you're, I think it's distorting. Dude, wrong game for you, dude. Go do taxes fuck out of music <laughs> all right let me uh let me uh, get back on track here let's just throw a limiter on it all right just l1's fine something to catch the overs that's all i'm gonna do all right just give me the l1 where are you why you gotta go in alphabet god damn it don't you guys hate when that happens i hate when that happens you lose it all right so l1 let's go l1 limiter go stereo all right we're just gonna set an out ceiling like set it to like you know 0.5 point whatever right Now, obviously, that bass, I chunk it up a little bit more, right? I'm giving you guys a little extra game because you made it this far. I think this is kind of fun, you know, go a little further. I'm going to turn the bass up just a little bit more. I'm also going to, on this bass, just to beef it up a little bit, I'm going to throw uh, this, uh, you know, everybody's favorite nowadays because uh, they saw their favorite engineer use it. The black box, man, it's the shit, bro. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> of course it's awesome. It's fucking distortion all right here we go shut the fuck up get a different job all right here we go so i'm gonna take everything now and i'm gonna throw uh you know obviously i just need to balance stuff out right like bring everything down in volume you know go to your go to your uh your your drum box
last but not least, that's the three stages of compression. I'm going a little deeper into this mix just because I want to show you guys some cool shit. But um, now, last but not least, I'm going to throw something on the master, right? Because now we're going to glue it all together. It's a beat. I'm trying to get it done. I'm trying to ship it out. That's the idea, right? Like, let's get this thing done. Let's blap it. All right. Uh, I got a bunch of different stuff. Let's just go with uh, Beatmaster Twitch 3. Whatever the fuck that means. All right. Now let's uh, let's pop this stuff on. go i damn near could ship this out get some vocals on it i'm gonna play it from the beginning let you guys hear it and thank you so much for tuning in that's the three stages of compression that i use all right so directly on the drums we got a parallel compression and then we have a bus compression for the drums okay i like to send sometimes the bass through the uh, bus compression sometimes i send it out separately all right i'm just gonna play this and you guys can uh get out of here and stay out of that van down by the river <laughs> 